Hello friends. Today we will discuss a numerical of the optics which were frequently asked in the CBSC board exam. In this numerical, as shown in the blue figure, three light rays, red, green, and blue are incident on SOCLS right angle prism ABC at face AB. Explain with region which ray of light will be transmitted through the face AC. The refractive index of the prism for red, blue, red, green, blue light are 1.39, 1.44, 1.47 respectively. Trace the path of rays after passing through phase AB. We will explain this numerical as First of all, let you know the condition of the TIR. The condition of the TIR is that first condition is the ray of light must be travel from denser medium to rarer medium. Second condition is that the ray of light or the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle. To solve this numerical, there are two methods. First method, you have to calculate the critical angle for each wavelength separately by using this relation and using the value of refractive index of different wavelength as given in the explanation of the numerical. There are second method. In this method, first of all, as shown in figure that the angle of incidence will be 45 degree. Now we are calculating the refractive index for the angle 45 degree and by using this relation and doing the calculation as we know that sine 45 is equal to 1 by root 2 and we get the value of refractive index mu is equal to 1.414 if the angle C is equal to 45 degree. Now, as we are observing from this relation that refractive index is inversely proportional to the critical angle, then we can conclude that from this data, the refractive index for the red wavelength is less than the refractive index value which are calculated assuming that C is equal to 45 degree. Then if the refractive index of the red wavelength is less than this mu, we can conclude that the critical angle of the prism for the red wavelength must be greater than the 45 degree. Due to which we can conclude that due to which we can conclude that Red wavelength do not fulfill the condition of TIR and it will be transmitted through the surface AC. Now we are comparing the refractive index of green wavelength and blue wavelength. By the comparing comparison, we observe that the refractive index of the green wavelength and blue wavelength is greater than mu after which we conclude or we come to the point that the value of the critical wavelength for the green wavelength and blue wavelength will be smaller than the 45 degree and these wavelength will fulfill the condition of the TIR and will be totally internally reflected back by the surface AC. We are summarizing all these things again or first of all we can complete this numerical by tracing or completing the path of these three rays. We are summarizing this numerical again. This is your numerical in which they have asked to complete the path all these three rays. First of all we have calculated the refractive index for the angle 45 degree and we are observing from this relation that critical angle is inversely proportional to the refractive index 
and uh, from this da data we observe that the refractive index for the red wavelength is less than mu therefore the critical angle will be greater for the red wavelength greater for the red wavelength or the critical angle for the red wavelength is greater than the 45 degree and the critical angle for the green wavelength and blue wavelength is less than the 45 degree and these two wavelengths fulfill the condition of TIR while red wavelength do not completing the condition of the TIR therefore red wavelength will be transmitted through the surface AC and blue and green wavelength will be totally internally reflected back by the surface AC. Thank you for watching. Give your feedback in the comment box. Subscribe our channel for upcoming videos and press the red button to get the notification. Thank you.